Welcome back everyone, my name is TRP Strife and this is Subnautica. There was an update. We are now on the infected version of the game and I started over. Yeah, so it took a little bit, but here's our new base. Um, we have a message. That's kind of a surprise. Just to give you guys an idea of where we are. Somewheres over near that life pod is kind of close to where we built our old base. We're uh, around 200 meters southish of where we was before. It's not quite as nice as the old base. I don't have as much vegetation growing. I don't have the vending machine, the coffee machine. I didn't even find the coffee machine this time. I've tried to uh, more or less just follow the same steps that I had in the uh, the last one, but there have been a few minor, uh, well, differences. But here you go. Oh, I also I built a uh, bioreactor because we're slightly deeper, and the uh, solar panel isn't quite keeping up. Lantern fruit tree for that. Tons of storage. We have storage for days. Locker for just fine. I've been finding a lot of these. There was a, uh, a stalker right outside my life pod who kept picking up scrap metal and dropping it. Well, eventually he uh, must have lost all his teeth doing it. There's a new bug in the game, unfortunately. Ready? Check this out. Ta-da! And now no matter what I pick up. Yeah, real neat. It, it'll go away when I go through the hatch. Alright, let me fix this bug just because it drives me nuts. And ta-da, my hands are now working properly. Sorry, I was not prepared apparently. Why do I have all this stuff on me? What was I doing last? So things that I wanted to show you guys before we got going any farther. The first thing I want to make is a stasis rifle. Advanced wiring kit, battery, and titanium. Ooh. Neat. Freezes physical objects. We'll have to find something to test that on here in a minute. We can also make... I just looked and I can't look again. A mobile vehicle bay. Titanium ingot lubricant and power cell. Okay, this is going to take a moment. Awesome, okay, we got that. And the last thing that we can do is we can finish making the communication beacon. So we'll do this real quick and then we'll go check out the uh... actually no. Let's go check out this. I'm very curious as to what a mobile vehicle bay does. I mean, fabricates vehicles from raw materials. I want vehicles. Vehicles sound good. Uh, hopefully I won't need to scan anything. Release vehicle bay. Okay! The whole screen, I can't see anything. Can I put that away for a moment, please? That's just a cool view. That's what I had to build here. That, and I had this just huge drop-off. Alright, so we'll build the vehicle bay right here, I guess. I, I don't... It goes up. It goes way up. Where you go? Okay. You do stop at least at the surface. You don't fly. What are you? Uh, crap. What do I do with it? How do I use it? Whoa. Okay. What do you do? I can make two vehicles. The Seamoth and the Cyclops. Can I really make the Cyclops? 
I think I picked up all the pieces. I picked up, like, uh, the engine, a hull, and I think there was something else. Yeah, it says I don't... It's been acting weird in this one about some of the blueprints. Like, it was giving me the option to build the, uh, the multi-purpose room before I remember scanning it. But I think I did actually find all of the Cyclops. It was in, uh... Crap, I don't know if I can remember the numbers. There's a life pod... Out that way. And there's, like, mushroom trees. I think it's called a mushroom forest biome, like, near it. And there was a bunch of pieces of it there. And then over by the mountain, there was some more pieces of it. Alright, so I can build stuff though. Okay, so I need titanium, power cell, glass, and lubricant. Alright, cool. And wow, that's plasteel. I don't know how to make plasteel. Enamel glass, I don't know how to make that. Uh, I'm assuming that's going to take me a little while to get. Alright, let's find a, uh, a something to test our stasis rifle on. I think I know where some stalkers are. Holy crap! That's another thing I've been noticing is these guys have been having a hard time. They keep going into shallow water and well... Yeah! They're having fun. They're playing. We're gonna call it that. Oh yeah, daddy's got a gun. Shit, what was that? Oh, he's, he's in slow motion. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Oh, I need air. Just because he doesn't move doesn't mean I don't have to. I wonder if I can stop him. You there. I desire to shoot you. It did. It stopped him. Holy shit, so it doesn't really matter. It uses up quite a little bit of energy per shot, but... That's really cool. Does it work out of little guys? Oh. Yes. Yes, it does. That's cool. I like this thing. Let's head back to base, build the comm relay, and see what the new message is. Welcome aboard and that's the easiest captain. way to deal with the new visual bug, is just to uh, put away the sea glide before you go inside. Alright, let's see what's up with this. CPU, this is automated distress signal from LifePod 12, coordinates attached, warning LifePod has sunk beyond safe diving distance, do not attempt to retrieve it without submersible support. Well, guess who has uh, a mobile vehicle bay? Let's see where that is. Well, where is it? Oh, well, over there. Wow! Holy shit, that's way out there. Yeah, that's... That's... A long ways. I wonder how deep it actually is. Sunk beyond 250 meters, it says right beyond... Right on it. 250 meters. I don't think... I don't think I can do that with the sea glide. That's uh, not gonna happen. So I'm gonna need to make... The sea moth. Uh, oops, that's not what I meant to do. I think that's what it was called. The sea moth. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. I haven't had a submarine yet. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. Come on. Yes, vehicles. 
titanium ingot, power cell, glass, and lubricant. I need to write this down. One second. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Okay, so I need to get the materials to do that. And we also have to find the power station that was mentioned to us by the PDA when we were at the uh, quarantine enforcement platform. And there was something mentioned in a PDA document about there being a second base for the Degasi survivors somewhere underneath the floating islands. So there's plenty of things we need to do, but I need to make a Seamoth more than likely to start reaching these new things. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the show. If you have, like, subscribe, maybe leave me a comment down below. And just stay awesome. I'll catch you guys next time.